What's going on now? I'm here for another beer review, and I got a beer from Founders, one of my favorite brewing companies. And this is the Imperial Stout. Founders was founded by Mike Stevens and Dave Ingers. They established the brewery in 97, but they were homebrewing well before that. You know, they uh, were in college and they love beer. Who don't love beer? Well, there's a few people that don't, but everybody that's watching this typically likes beer. But yeah, they were in college and they decided, hey, let's try home brewing, you know. So yeah, they established a brewery in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And the Imperial Stout comes in at 10.5 ABV, 75 IBUs. And I'm ready to crack her open. Let's see what the date is on this. I actually had this beer put away for several months. Bottled on 11 21 19. Well, yeah, it's been in there for what six, seven months. We got a cool little cap. Everything about Founders is cool though. Uh, they weren't the first craft brewery per se, <clears throat> but many view them as. One of the pioneers of the movement. And they are one of my favorites. Hands down. Let's crack it open. I got my Norwood glass. I did have two other ones, but one of them broke. Let's see if we'll get some smoke off this. With a trusty can opener. Oh, we got smoke, baby. We got smoke. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we got action. We got action. Oh, look at that action. That's some action right there. That's some action. I bought this in a six pack. Drunk it. And I meant to do a beer review on one of them then, and then I was going to sell it for about a year and see the difference. But I realized, wait, what happened to the beer review? So somehow it got deleted or I didn't post it. Something happened. Either way, we got some action on that. Look at this, how dark. Look at that. If I remember correctly, this is even has an even darker head than the breakfast style. Yeah. Look at it. That's just beautiful. Opaque is opaque gets. I mean, you I see my reflection in the mirror, you know. Funny looking reflection. Makes my head look like one of the what's that movie? Cone heads. And I got my Pantera shirt on. Rest in peace, dime bag. <sighs> this looks beautiful. I ain't had a stout in a long time. I've tried venturing out, you know, doing some beer reviews on some other styles. Very thick, creamy head. Very thick, small, small, small bubbles. So small you can't even see the bubbles. Now you can on the sides, but, you know, that's beside the point. Got a little mess on the table, but hey, that's all right. After the beer review, I'm going to act like a dog. I'm going to be like, ooh. <laughs> Get her up to the top. Let's just see how this is done over the past few months. What does it say under the top? Oh, yeah. Brood for us. Let's give it a nose.
Oh, roasted heaven. Roasted heaven. Cocoa malts. Coffee. Dark fruits. Oh, very roasted. Not quite sure if I can pick up any hops. I am getting some bitterness, but see, your bitterness can come from the roastiness. See, on my scale, I go from, uh, you know, you got toasted, you got a little more toasted, you got roasted, very roasted, then you got burnt, she's burnt, baby. Well, this is very roasted. Oh, very amazing smell on it. <clears throat> and, I mean, dark. Use motor oil look. <laughs> you get smokiness on the nose. Like, uh, that artificial smoke flavor. <sighs> Big, bold beer. Big bold beer. Big bold beer. BBB. The triple B's. Big bold beer. I'm going to make out a thing. Big bold beer. <laughs> I'm a little silly. I dropped me a store reserve. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting raisins. Mm, let's dive in. <laughs> Wow. Can we say complexity? This is a complex, complex, amazing beer. I know you're thinking that I go on and on about founders. It is what they say it is. It's amazing. Chewy, sticky mouthfeel. No alcohol burn. That's a little warming in the throat, but hardly. It's a very mild warm. It's that perfect warmth that you want during October, winter, anytime, even in the summer. A good mixture of the malts. I mean, you're getting the roasted coffee bean. Roasted malts, roasted barley. Like a very almost burnt toast. Burnt. Excuse me. You're getting raisins. But it's very dark raisin. Like, like if you had a... Chocolate covered raisin. Oh, I'm getting vanilla. 
Yeah, I'm definitely getting vanilla on this. This ain't barrel aged either. So it's not your vanilla flavor that comes from a barrel. Fact. <laughs> but it has a vanilla flavor. Almost like a, a van natural vanilla bean or something. Like, imagine a big bowl of vanilla ice cream. And you put, like, candy coffee in the ice cream with some chocolate. But it's not your milk chocolate. Don't get me wrong there. It's your dark chocolate. I can already tell this is going to be a long review. I'm already at 11 minutes. This beer deserves it. It coats your mouth. Sticky. Good. Might I even say better with age. I might just say it's better with age. Give it a little swirl. Now, on the nose, you do get some booziness on the nose. It is there on the nose. It lets you know, hey, I'm not just your typical stout or porter. I'm an imperial. That's what I am. This beer is Arnold Schwarzenegger as a Terminator when he walks into that bar. Looks that biker in the eye and he said, I need your clothes, I need your boots, and your glasses. Bad. Bad to the bone. But see, the booziness on the nose ain't bad. I mean, it it complements the roasted toast, the very roasted malts. I mean, because like I said, it's very roasted. You know, it's just not regular roasted. It's almost burnt. Almost in the burnt category. Just look at the lacing on the glass. Look at that. This ain't going to be for your everyday beer drinker, you know, that's just started out drinking something like, you know, uh, Sam Adams Light Lager. There's someone that just had a blue moon and thanks. Hey. I had my first craft beer. It was a blue moon. <laughs> Talking about blue moon. Um, I just got into a beer reviewer that actually lives really close to me. And I uh, still got to watch his review of Blue Moon, the Hefeweizen. He's really good. His name is... The bearded one. Look him up on YouTube. He's amazing with beer reviews. He tells it like it is. And one day I plan on doing a beer review with him. I left this beer out for about an hour. One thing I love to do, and I recommend this to any seasoned drinker of your more complex beers, I'll say. Your micros. 
Let your beer warm up. Don't drink it ice cold, you know. Unless it's a bottom fermented yeast, you know, a lager that's a high gravity. Drink that really cold. That's, you know, that's the way they're meant. But these, let them warm up. Let the complex flavors come out. The complex aromas. Because that's what they're made for. The complexity. And it's so sticky. I feel it on my fingers, you know. I made a mess on the table. <laughs> it's already sticky on the table. <laughs> oh, this is already going on 16 minutes. I do not apologize. I do not. This is a slow sipper. Very slow sipper. I will tell you some depressing news, though. I just figured this out. They no longer make the CBS, and they don't plan on ever brewing it again. They stopped in 2019. That's the Canadian bourbon stout. That depresses me. Because I ain't ever had the CBS. I've had the KBS, the Kentucky Bourbon Stout. I've had the Breakfast Stout, you know. And I, so I got to find somebody that maybe has a leftover bottle. Maybe call them up and uh, sweet talk one of the uh, front desk ladies, you know. Sure, my charm. I like charming side, not, no, no, no. Uh, I really want to try that Canadian bourbon stout. I mean, I've heard some good things, but no, I'd like to at least get the KBS, though, and the regular breakfast stout. See, the Kentucky, Kentucky wait, I say... Is it bourbon stout or is it breakfast stout? Kentucky breakfast stout. I apologize. Maybe it's Canadian breakfast stout, not bourbon stout. Oops, that was a blunder. And Kennedy knows that one. <laughs> but yes, it, it is. It's, it's breakfast stout. I would have. I don't know. Brain fart. Hey, everybody gets something wrong here and there. I like to compare them all together, though. You know, pick out the differences. And they're going to have differences. And, yeah, I left this in, out for about an hour. Leave your beers out. Let that complexity shine. Enjoy it for what it is. It's not a slamming beer. For all of you that's not used to dark beers and stronger beers, it's not something you're supposed to slam. So don't get upset and say, ooh, this is nasty. No, I'll take you a little bitty sip. A little sip. And taste what I was in there. You know? This ain't meant to be your... Miller, Bud, Coors, or anything like that. Or even a Heineken. Heineken ain't an adjunct lager, but it's slammable. You can slam it. This you don't want to slam, even if you can slam it. Don't appreciate it. There's so much that goes into these beers. You know, look it up. There's a lot, a lot that goes into it. A lot of science, a lot of trial and errors. And I mean a lot. Everything from your water source, sanitation. Sanitation, here's what most people that don't brew don't understand. 
Sanitation is the one of the biggest parts of brewing, other than your ingredients. You know, water plays a big part in flavor. Yeah, dude. You know, you could take this and probably make the best, you know, if you wanted to, make the best, what would you call it? You know, take you some ice cream, some whipped cream, this beer, some uh, milk chocolate flakes. That would make a dang good dessert. So let's read the back, shall we? Make sure every drops out of her. Oh, yeah. It's good. This is worth every bit of the 21 minutes I'm already on. Let's read the back. Brewed with an abundance of malts. Oh, it is. This stout is smooth as silk. It is. Yet complex and rich in body. Best enjoyed at cellar temperature to allow the notes of chocolate, dark fruit, and caramel to soar. Put another log on the fire. Sit back and enjoy the moment with this full bodied. And utterly delicious cold weather companion. <laughs> the label said it. And I did not read the label before this beer review. And I promise you. I promise you. This is a good beer. Wow. You know, I didn't mention the caramel notes. Let me see if I can get it on the nose and palate this time. You do get it. It's like a burnt caramel, though. Like if you put it in a in a pan, you know, or a pot, and you, you know, burnt it, you know. Yeah, you get that sweetness, like you would a sweetness from the caramel, like a burnt caramel. But the cocoa is a dark chocolate cocoa malt. Very dark. I know very few will... Understand me reviewing this beer for so long. But if you're in a lover of Imperials, a lover of Founders, you'll understand. A funny story about the Backwoods Bastards, Backwoods Bastard, and uh, that Dirty Bastard. Two beers from Founders. Uh, excuse me. We could not get them here in Bama because of the name. <laughs> yes. But I mean, hey, 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 we're here in Bama, you know. Hey, hey. <laughs> 2012, though, we finally got them. I think it was around 2010 when we had the craft beer movement. Now there's a few people that was home brewing, you know, but it was a, you know, it was a big deal, you know. There was free the hops. Once people discovered that big group of free the hops, it started catching, you know. 
and we was finally allowed beers above 6% ABV. Oh, I want to also mention, if you have Facebook, add the group founders. Add their page. They, every week, post a video of, of two people that give all kinds of sorts of information on beer. Very knowledgeable people. Founders is a very well-rounded company. They got people that talk about the science of beer, people that give information, everything. I mean, it's very amazing. And they stay connected with their fans. Add the Facebook group. I'm serious. It's one of the best Facebook pages I've seen. I mean, just look at that. Final sip this is the last one I got. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!